the importance to have an annual health check is that if any time that you feel better but then something can occur that you don't know that's there and they can find it before it's too late. It's known that people with learning disabilities have poorer health than other people in, um, in England. A lot of that is due to their learning disability, their communication problems, not accessing services. Um, annual health checks are invaluable for improving um, health for people with learning disabilities. Every year I can go see my GP and he knows that um, I will be there and I can um, I will be able to, I can tell him what their problems are, if there is anything, and he can help me and um, he can help mum. The first one when I went with a community nurse, they did my blood pressure, they did my blood tests, checked my ears, my eyes, and that. They weigh me and take my they blow those things up and make sure if my ears are right and my eyes. He uh, asked me how I'm getting on, uh, what could he do, uh, if there's any paperwork he need to sign. So um, the last one I went to, he signed on about uh, me getting a personal trainer, uh, which uh, I'm going to start on Thursday. I recently supported a lady in for her annual health check because she wanted me to go with her. Some people will go on their own, some people will go with carers, some people go pay paid carers, some people go with parents, some people, like this lady, particular lady, wanted me to go with her. I didn't say a lot, but during the annual health check, it came about that well, the nurse first said, oh, I haven't seen you in a long time. And she said, no, she didn't really want to go to the doctors. After that, in your health check, well, the outcome was she was prescribed two topical creams for um, different skin conditions. She had antibiotics and ster steroids because she had a chest infection. And she had a referral to neurology. Um, this wouldn't have ever happened if she hadn't had annual health check. She would have just carried on the way she was going. Um, so it is invaluable. I get panicky because of my autism, so it would help for GPs to understand some uh, patients might want to know when their time is ready because I know that the GPs are running late, even though in the morning, whether it's like the first appointment, <laughs> They're always running late, but <laughs> it's not only your health and well-being, it's uh, your family's health and well-being. Um, so if you can't, if you're not well, then your family can't uh, look after you and so on and so forth.